I see it as like we're seeing, Muslims yeah. against Muslims. We're seeing, we're literally seeing like the whole European history. People are claiming it's religion, but it's it's not religion, it's personal gain, the way I see it. Saudi Arabia, the royal family, they have so much money, custom made cars out of gold, all this stuff. Like to like even in do an Islamic viewpoint, like to what extent until you uh, you know, you should be giving back to like people who are in need, not just Muslims themselves, but also Christians. Because like like I said, if we were to look at the life, and this is gonna start getting a lot complicated because like so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. Because like in Islam we have two things that are criteria. Uh -huh. Documents. We have we have the Quran itself, which is considered as the word of God, and then we have uh, the hadith. The hadiths were like sayings and doings of the Prophet, but the problem about hadiths was that they were recorded 200 years ago. Uh, so we have Shahid Bukhari, which literally means Shahid means authentic. And then Bukhari was the name of the guy, Iman Bukhari. This guy was, wasn't Arab, I believe he was Iranian or Persian or something, if I'm correct. Uh, he was blind. But so, of course, Islam has this like this really strict uh, rulings that goes around how hadiths are collected, how we consider them as authentic. But the problem with it is that hadiths are all printed out in Bukhari, and this is what I think ISIS is doing. A lot of scholars, like scholars themselves, will say they debated whether this is authentic or whether this is like iffy or whether this is. Uh -huh. You have a lot of you have a lot of uh, sayings in the Bukhari hadith door, without a doubt, like. There are sayings that are like murderous, like terroristic, and you know, yada yada yada. But the problem with this is that a lot of scholars agree that these are like weak hadiths. So but how, okay, you're getting too, too deep in the details. How can we solve these this problems? Muslim, Islamic, terrorist problem. How can we solve this problem? I right? solution? Think, As I, think, a I think educating. I think that's the best way. I Educate. think that Muslims should be educating other Muslims saying that. Look, if, and, and the perfect example is that we can literally look at the life that we have of the Prophet. Uh -huh. Like, a lot of people try to say he's a warlord, but like, the thing is, whenever Muhammad وسلم, was on his deathbed, he literally had three points to his name. Like, whenever you think of a warlord, the warlord is someone who's big on money, a lot of money. Uh -huh. And even whenever he had the three coins, he said, go give it to someone in the streets. This is not a man who lives his life. You know, of course, Islam, did we have battles? Yes, but in our view, like, those are justified battles because people were threatening us, we were oh, trying to defend them. Again, you're talking about the past. Yeah, yeah, so, how, yeah, how, I'm how, so yeah, yeah, I know. So using the past, though, we use uh -huh. examples, and when we teach them, we say, look, this is oh, what our prophet okay. did, so uh, do the same thing. You're supposed to be, the prophet himself, like, like even the idea of like killing Muslims and Jews, you know, or like any other. So there's always a possibility that in any religion, there's like there's a possibility for me, I could become Christian tomorrow, you know, or I can be Jewish. So why are you killing me now when there's a possibility in the future I can literally be like among you guys? There's a possibility that even you know Christian Jew, whatever, hypothetically, you know, I'm not trying to say like we're gonna come and convert you guys all, you know, but if somebody wants to convert. You know, you're just bashing someone that could potentially in the future. So, do you think that, that Trump is right, since you're a Trump supporter? When he, I think, because so this is a lot of, he gets a lot of flack for, and us Republicans, we get a lot of flack when we refer to the, uh, you know, the whole terrorist movement as Islamic terrorist movement. They want to kind of hush it up and call it, uh, you know, whatever, avoiding two most important words, Islamic no, yeah, yeah. terrorism. Uh, the way I see it, no. So should we keep on the keep, Trump, keep, saying, keep repeating, no, keep identify, this. you know, what's happening? It is Islamic terrorism. No, no, that, that's what it is. Islamic Islamic right or wrong? I agree with you. It's not, look, good. Like I said, these guys are following a religion that is skewed and it's not the way I follow. But like, if you're going to take out the Islamic point out of it, you're just, you're weakening and you're not going to fix the problem. The problem is that you have a bunch of people who are skewing the Islamic teachings. Well, if you guys want to combat, call it Islamic terrorism so then people could go out there, educate people, and actually show them what Islam is, not just keep saying it's terrorism, terrorism. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to keep saying terrorism, terrorism, people are just going to be like, well, why should I care to fix it? It's just some random terrorism, like, uh, you know. Well, exactly, like, yeah. Uh, so, and like, I get it, whenever we say, and, and whenever we say, you know, and even if you were to say Islamic, the thing is, like, some people will use that as a way to start attacking a bunch of Muslims, you know. And so, like, I see the way that it can be used as a double-edged sword, but, like, our... But I still agree that we should still... It's an Islamic problem. That's the whole reason why we have it today. Like, these guys, like... You think they're calling themselves Christians or anything? They're calling themselves Muslims. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right, listen.
Thank you. No. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Spread the word, brother. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'm trying to. Man. Okay. Good. Trump. 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 There's a bunch of Muslims who believe in the way that I see it, and uh -huh. this is without doubt. The thing is, you're not gonna you're not gonna educate people unless you go to them and tell them. Like even for myself, I go to a lot of like MAGA meetups, or what you call it, you know, other Trump supporters. There's certain stuff where they'll say they don't know about Islam. I educate uh -huh. them. You know, uh, for example, and I'll do that through the Christian religion. There's a lot of stuff that we hold in common. Let's, let's wait. No, it's a bunch of us. Us. <laughs> Okay, so like a similarity. Trump, uh, Trump, Trump, Trump. Like a, similar, Trump. a similarity between like the Christian and Islamic religion. Uh -huh. We believe that one day there will be someone called the Jazz, which is considered as the Antichrist. Uh -huh. All right. Christians and Jews both agree that the Antichrist is someone that's going to be like completely evil. And that we have to like, and that there's going to be, you know, uh, that Jesus himself is going to come back. We believe that. Christians believe that. We believe that Jesus will come back and that he's going to be, and he's going to be leading the battle against the Dijet. So like even right there, our ideologies do intersect with each other. You know, uh, yeah, Trump supporters. Okay. <laughs> so we've got two groups here.